this is the follow-up tutorial for Night After Night and you're back in Dad Bird, so the minor version of uh, Dada Sharp Bird. And the other night I taught it with a capo on and actually I think um, I could probably do it without so it's a bit easier to show you how to play. So it was very <laughs> difficult, I realised, um, when I was trying to teach it live. It involves quite a lot of explaining the tablature, so I think I've got my head around it a bit more now. So you start with um, nothing in the bass, but you're pretty much always using the bottom string as the bass note. So the top two strings are <coughs> eighth fret, and then you're hammering on the seventh fret. So. And then you're adding the 8th fret in the bass and hammering on the 8th fret in the top string. Moving down in the bass and changing your fingering in the top string. So the top three strings are 8, 7, nothing. And then 8, 7, 8. And then moving to 8, nothing, 7. So nothing in the bass, eight, seven, eight in the bass, and then hammering on to eight in the top string, moving down in the bass one fret, and then eight, seven, nothing, eight, seven, eight, and then eight, nothing, seven. Darling, I loved you. I long to become you and know what it is that you gave. <clears throat> we dance the sorrow, forgive me tomorrow, I pray. So you're moving down to a major chord, <clears throat> which is just a bar chord. Of course, in a minor tuning, that's just a bar chord with a sharpened <laughs> with a third in it, I don't know how to say that because, yeah, you get what I mean and then you're moving that bar chord up two frets but it, keeping it minor night after night day after day did you watch my body weaken and my mind drift away You don't have to do that bit, but I do this little, so 3rd fret, 7th fret, and you could take it up to octave if you need to. Um, so you go, and then it goes back to the verse. And then there's another section that goes, it's a tenting communion. It's a fate for told, it is knowing, it is knowing. So that's just a three in the bass and picking the right string. So I guess the, the fifth, fourth and fifth string, fourth and fifth string being the higher, higher ones. And then you're going to this suspenseful kind of chord that wants to be resolved. So that's nothing, nothing, two, two, nothing, nothing. So that's all the elements. There, there's one other element, which is just the, I guess, the outro. <laughs> which is a similar shape to what's what happens in Daisy. So that's uh, top three strings, seven, five, seven, and then taking off the top string, descending the bass line as it were. And then this. And that's it. And you can put all those things together. 
So that was that one. I mean, that is uh, that is tricky to explain. And I have prepared this other guitar for you because it also in that session I did um, only the strong survive, which is very easy. And I will do this with the capo on because I think this is the, the the capo position from the album. And I'll tell you the chords as if they didn't have a capo on. So E minor. F sharp over D, uh, two blank blank two, and a G over A7, A minor seven, sorry. Only the strong survive. Only the strong survive. Only the wrong. That's just mimicking the bass on the octave. We've been here a thousand times. So E minor, D, um, F sharp over D, G over A major, A minor seven. And then the, the sort of choruses, I guess, are uh, hold the two can change, E minor, my mind, I had to leave this crying now behind. <clears throat> so that's just a C major, but it's got a different flavour to it if you play it um, as this bar chord. So there's a reason why. I mean, it's it's a pretty um, minor example of that, but what I was saying in <clears throat> another one. Um, another, I can't remember which tutorial I was saying, that it's good to learn the different um, versions of the same chords because they all have a, a different flavour and you can use them in different ways. Anyway, I hope that you could change my mind, I had to leave this crying out behind, it's just somebody told me. Again, just that descending line. Only the strong will survive. That's it. So I will. Um, I'm sorry, this is a bit late today. I was all tied up yesterday doing something very boring, injuring myself, and this is a product of being left-handed. Um, I'll be back later tonight to do a live version of The Valley and hope we meet again for a new album. And uh, you won't need a capo, I don't think. It's always good to have one, but that's in standard tuning. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.